Today, we're going to get 1.5 surround sound on any Windows 10 computer in about a minute. Let's go. Step one, use these products. We've got our 5.1 speakers, a USB sound card, and a sound level monitor. They all come under 100 pounds, and I've linked them in the description below. Obviously, you can change up the speakers for higher quality ones, but these ones are on the cheap. Usually, you'd have to buy a built-in sound card to get 5.1, but not today. The Vantech peeps have made us this thing. Ooh. Step two. Let's set up. Once you get the USB sound card, don't bother with the CD. It's out of date. Go to their website instead, link in the description, and get their latest driver slash software download. Then install it, duh. Step three, wires. So many wires. Match all the colors, then clamber through the plastic spider web you have now created. Oh, you can cable manage if that's what you like doing. Step four, speaker placement. This is super important. Center in the center, front speakers at 30 degrees, back speakers at 110 degrees. The bass can go anywhere. Step five, getting it working. Go to your sound settings, then click sound control panel. Go to your plugged in USB audio device, click it, then configure. Now select 5.1 surround. All done, right? Wrong. Now go to control panel. Once in control panel, set view to small icons, then click on USB multi-channel audio device. Make sure your input and output are both set to six speakers and we're done. Phew. If you want to test your 5.1 surround sound setup, I'll include a link in the description below with an MP3 sample for you to try them out. I hope this has been useful in setting up your 5.1 surround sound on any Windows 10 device for under a hundred quid. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.